Greetings and welcome to Foodies USA. I'm Adrienne Houghton and I'm joined today by Chef Amadeus, a local celebrity here. And Chef, welcome and thank you for coming in to talk to us about food. That's what I do. I know. I love it. <laughs> so straight off the bat, I'm going to say, what are your first, what are your top five things about food that uh, you are associated with? Uh, I, th I think the first one would be I'm the president of the local uh, ACF chapter here, the American Culinary Federation chapter uh, here in Jacksonville. Ooh, that's a big deal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a big deal. Um, um, two, I'm involved with high school culinary programs, not just here in Jacksonville, but also in St. Augustine. Um, three, I have my own line of spices. Ooh. Yeah, it's a salt-free spice. Um, four, I'm, I'm really involved with uh, it really enjoy teaching people how to cook healthy, mm. you know, just teach them how to cook this, the, the simple things. I think the, the fifth one is just really uh, getting people to just enjoy being in the kitchen. Well, I think you've missed out on one. Which one was that one? Weren't you a Food Network winner? Yeah, kind of, sort of, yes. <laughs> kind of, sort of, tell I, yes. us about that. That's what so we want to So in 2000, 2011, I won on the Food Network on a show called Extreme Chef. Um, it was an amazing... Um, uh, amazing thing and the biggest thing was it wasn't that I won it was how I won because every chef has a philosophy on how they cook and my philosophy is always you know just be true and just cook with a passion you know um, and that's what I did I cooked from my heart and I just created these amazing dishes um, and it, and it, it works. It, 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 and it they works. loved it. it. They loved it. And the, the dish that I did that was my, my winning dish was a dolce de leche crusted skirt steak with a charred salsa. Um, what? Yes. Um, <laughs> and like I said, you know, I, as much as I travel, I pick up every little uh, cultural uh, flavor. So when I go to cook, you may find Puerto Rican and Haitian together. You may find... Um, Japanese and Southern together. So just all those flavors that I like to bring together. Something different. Well, obviously, I'm, I'm not from around these parts. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, from, I'm from England, and you've had an experience with a, 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 yes. a British chef, haven't yes. you? Yes, he was, um, Chef Martin was, uh, when I worked at the convention center, um, he showed me a lot of things, and it was, it was never about an ego. He would always mm. like, you know, you know, don't tell me anything. Show me that you can do it, do everything. So you go in and say, well, I can do this, I can do that. He said, okay, go ahead and do it. If you can do it, you can do it. If not, then, you know, you're bragging about yourself. So, <clears throat> but learning from him was um, a lot of um, organizational skills. <laughs> now, there's a, there's a Yorkshire pudding story, isn't Yes, there? so I had no idea what Yorkshire pudding was. We're making prime rib. And I, I do. I <clears throat> know what Yorkshire pudding is. Well, I love it. <laughs> well, I, I was making a prime rib, and he was like, okay, we're going to have you make the Yorkshire pudding. And I was like, okay, sure. And I said, mm, why are we making a dessert with meat? That doesn't even sound right. He said, you bloody Americans. <laughs> and then right. I made Yorkshire pudding and it was the most amazing, most flavorful side accompaniment to, roast the, beef. The, the, to the roast beef. And it was yeah. just, oh. so now when I make it, people are like, well, that's not what the recipe says. I say, listen, I learned how to make this from someone who knows how to do it. They, and that's, that's nothing about me. Every ethnic food that I know how to do, I spent time with, that, with, that, uh, with, with those people to learn it from them, their grandmother, you know. Right. And, and those are the people that you want to learn from. The I tricks of the trade. The tricks of the trade. So, yes, it's always kind of fun to do that. Uh, well, Yorkshire pudding is a huge, huge, huge. delight of mine. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when it's it's so puffed up that you can fill the center with gravy. Yes. That's all the yes. nice juices from the But roast there's beef. a secret to that that I didn't know because the, the secret is you get the drippings from the roast beef. Oh, yeah. Put it in the, in the muffin tin. Yeah. Put that tin in the oven. So that it gets super hot. Super hot. And as soon as you put that, that, uh, that batter in there, it just like puffs up like a souffle. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Chef Amadeus, thank you for joining us today on Foodies USA. And we'll be right back with Buzz TV.